Hi there, good afternoon and welcome into Mary's Kitchen. It looks a little bit dark in here today. Can you see me okay? There, that looks a little better. Um, I'm looking forward to getting myself a new iPhone, a new iPhone 11 soon, so where the camera is much better. I'm sorry I'm inside today. It's really, really cold. You can see I've got my gilet on to keep warm. Hi, who's on? I see somebody on here. Say hello. Hi, Ellen. How are you in Belgium? How's everything there? And hi, Deborah in Las Vegas and Kathy Wilson in Florida and Elizabeth Renton. Hi. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, girls. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all of you as well. Uh, it's actually not Mother's Day here in uh, the UK. That happens in uh, March. <laughs> And you have yours in May, so we're a little bit, uh, a little bit ahead of you. On the hey, Patty, hi, and Nandini, how are you, Nandini? Are you sitting poolside with a little cocktail or a little bottle of Veuve Clicquot? I hope. Oh, <laughs> uh, good to see you, girls, coming on. I'm going to do something really, really easy today. Now I got to get started because I want to see this right through. Um, I'm going to cut these in half first okay these are two peppers that I have hanging around here which I of course do not want to waste and I want to take the seedings out of them and take some of the pith uh, the w pith is the white uh, you know the white sort of stuff in there so let me just get these in the in the oven real quick because uh, they're going to take a few minutes to, to get to the stage where I want to show you what I'm doing with them. And I'm just taking the seeds and the pith out of them. So I've got little shells, creating little cups like that. Put them in my lovely little dish here. And I've got a green one. Uh, normally cook green stuffed peppers, but I am just now because that's all I have at the moment. And don't worry if I don't say hello to you just at the second because I got to get these in the oven real quick. This is a really fast recipe. We're just taking the seeds out and a little bit of the pit. I've got my little bowl here. I told you I always keep a bowl. I'm sorry the light's not so good in here. Uh, normally I'm cooking outside, but I need the oven today. All right. So I'll just show you that. So I've got my four pieces here. I've got a little bit of olive oil. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour a little bit of olive oil in the dish. And then I'm going to paint these. Yeah, I'm going to paint them inside and outside with the olive oil. Just get a little brush. A little paint brush will do. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be a cooking brush. It can be a little paint brush. Just cover them in a little olive oil and we're going to put them in the oven right away. I've preheated the oven up to 200. <laughs> there. I'm happy now. I've got that little job done. Okay, so I've preheated the oven and I'm just going to put them in the oven. And I want to keep them probably for about 15 minutes. Now I know that sounds like we're going to be on here for a long time, but don't worry, we won't be. Hi Cheryl. Hey. And Tammy and Barbara and Susan. Great. Thanks for coming on, girls. Two Susans in a row. Susan Brunette and Susan Evans. Good to see you. And Tammy, and happy Mother's Day to you too. Yeah, now I want to make this really simple for you. So peppers are something you always have available. The light changes in this. Does it change for you too? I don't know. Hi Sandra and Kathy. Hi and Kim. Hey Lorraine. <laughs> yeah, you can watch me all day if you like. Um, for this recipe, I'm making this as simple as possible. Yes, you can boil your own rice to make this recipe, but I am not going to do that. I am relying on the lovely Tilda Rice Company who make all sorts of different kinds. Uh, I've got a whole stack of rice over there. Uh, this one I'm using is sweet chili and lime. It doesn't matter. It's basmati rice. And basically, I am going to just let that undo that for just to let some air out. And I'm just going to stick this in my microwave for a minute, okay? While we're talking. So I'm away doing that. And so 
that's what makes this recipe so simple and easy, uh, especially when you're making the rice. Ah, Karen, how are you? I'm fine. I'm doing well. Hey, Darlene. I think you said you had a lot of snow yesterday. Emma, nice to see you. Yes, I love micro rice. I have so many micro rices here. Look, Uncle Ben's egg fry, coconut. I buy them all. It's so simple. And you know, everything I like to cook is as simple as possible, not too complicated. So yeah, I've got a lot of these like micro rices available. I'm gonna turn this on. My little pan, my little salter pan, which I love so much. I've got some olive oil here. Just been on a Zoom party talking to some friends, so that was nice. Uh, a little glug of olive oil there, and we're going to then put in... That's my rice ready already. Rice ready already. <laughs> Hang on. Get my little spoon. This is a really, really simple recipe. Now, you could do this two ways. You could make it into a more sort of Indian, uh, Indian style rice stuffed pepper, or you can make it more Mediterranean. Uh, if you wanted to make it more Indian, you would use the curry powders, you would use your cumin, and you would use your coriander. I'm going to make this more Mediterranean. I'll tell you why. Uh, I had some lovely very delicious um, sun-dried tomatoes here and a little bit of oil and I've got some two cloves of garlic I've got some cilantro and I've got some lovely little cherry tomatoes here I'm just going to cut some of them up and throw them in too so I'm going to start with my with my onions and get my rice hang on be right back got my rice See, my rice is ready already. <laughs> rice is ready already. I'll just take that. I just like to make things simple and try and get them, you know, make delicious food, but try and get it out as fresh and quickly as possible. I'm going to use a little bit of chili. Oh, no, not chili again, Mary. Yes, chili again, Mary. Hi, Janine. Hey, Fiona. <laughs> Happy Sunday to you, too. So nice to have a chat with you. Emma, how are you? My friend Emma Blacher's been busy delivering wine to all her friends yesterday. God bless you. So they got it in time for Mother's Day. My friends Gail and Les were out in their boat in Florida yesterday with uh, Jenny and Sean. Oh, I wish. We're locked down for three more weeks, you know. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got, I keep, remember, I keep this little thing here just to, and I'm just going to, this is not the knife I like to use to cut the chilies, really. But anyway, it'll do just now. I like my big knife that rocks. But that'll be fine. Okay, so I got one chili there. So I'm making this kind of more Mediterranean style stuffed peppers. Kathy, what are you saying? Oh, you got your chilies. Oh, terrific. You talked to Gail yesterday. That's great, Kathy. I'm so happy. I hope you get a chance. The hotel's opening up in the middle of June. I'm going to turn that down a wee bit. Yeah, uh, they're opening up the Fusion in uh, Treasure Island in the middle of June there, Kathy. So you'll be able to get a chance to get over there again. And I wish I could have some of your chilies. Hi, Mary. Hi, Patty. What I'm making today, Patty, is I'm making easy, very easy stuffed peppers. So I put my two peppers in the oven already. Hey, by the way, this is my big pot of cabbage soup here. Half of it's gone already. <laughs> it was delicious, by the way. Uh, I'm going to put my rice in there. See how simple? Simple dimple. I mix my onions into my rice. It'd be great if you had some pine nuts or some walnuts. It'd be great to put into this. I've got four chopped 
sun-dried tomatoes with a little bit of the oil from the jar. I'm making this very Mediterranean style. I'm going to put my chili in. I'm going to put my garlic in. There we go. We have a lovely pan full of color there. I'm going to put some cherry tomatoes. I'm probably just going to six them. I know they're quite tiny. I've got some yellow ones as well. Who's on? Hi, Lori. Hey, Jack from Korea. Thanks for coming on, Jack. Nice to see you. I need you back over here to do some videos for me. Hurry on. Hey, Susan, how are you? You're getting out and about now. Too much, I think. I don't know. But anyway, all my friends were out in their boats yesterday in Florida. Happy days are here again, I guess. I wish I was. Anyway, soon, 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 I hope. Uh, we've got three more weeks of this staying indoors. Can you believe it? If I had a pool and a jacuzzi and a little glass of wine next to me, I'd be probably perfectly happy. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put a, I don't know, six, seven, eight chopped tomatoes, little cherry tomatoes in there. I've got about one tablespoon of chopped cilantro, coriander. I'm going to put that in too. Oh, not much for you, Susan. You can put parsley. Now, if you wanted to do this on more of an Indian cooking theme, then you'd need to use your curry powders, your coriander, and your cumins. But I'm not. I'm going more Mediterranean with this dish. And I'm going to put a little mixed herbs in there with a tablespoon of mixed herbs. This is going to be really, really delicious. I wish I had some roasted pine nuts. Oh, I'll tell you what. Wait a minute. Yes, I've got some feta cheese. Let me put some feta cheese on the top of it. I didn't put that in the instructions up top, but sometimes I just think of these things as I'm going along. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Linda. Ah, and Patty, hi. Hi. If I don't see your comments as you're coming up, don't worry, I always read them. So if you have any questions or anything, just please uh, question me in my comments, and I'm very, very happy to answer them. And I do take the time to answer each one individually. Uh, Cindy, happy Mother's Day to everyone. Oh, you do too in Washington State. Ah, Washington State, still closed down for three more weeks. Smart. I think that's a smart move. Hey, Lorna, how are you? Hey, when I get off this video, Lorna, I'm going to give you a wee ring, okay? You need to catch up with our chit-chat. Um, limes. What to do is just roll them on the counter. Lemons and limes, if you're using them for cooking, get the juice coming uh, out of them. It's a much easier method. And, of course, you're going to use your uh, squeezer. Lemon, my little crystal squeezer here, Karen Peterson. <laughs> I'm going to use that. There. That's only taken moments. And I'm going to put a little bit of this feta cheese on top. I'm going to do one half of the lemon, uh, lime, sorry, one half. I'm not going to do the whole thing because I think it will get too limey. But with the cilantro in there, coriander, and the lime gives a beautiful. There we go. Well, that smells absolutely lovely. I've got some pepper. I'm going to put some pepper in there. I'm not putting any salt. If you want to put salt on your food, sea salt is the best, of course, but if you want to put salt on your food, you can always add that in later. Let me just have a look at my peppers, how they fit. Okay. Right. Now, they're going to be cooking back in the oven again. So you want to cook those for about 15 or 20 minutes. I'm going to bring these over here to the forefront. And, you know, if you wanted to double up this recipe, it's very, very simple to do. Hi, Tari. 
How are you? Yes, I use mixed herbs. Uh, I sprinkled mixed herbs in there. That's all. There you go. All right. I, I like to use normally fresh herbs. I would get some fresh rosemary and things out of the garden, but I'm just making this quick, easy, fast. And uh, so you can put these in the oven and have a really, really fantastic meal. And what we're going to do now is we're going to scoop that into the shells. The reason why I like to cut the shells in half rather than take the lid off and fill it is because then you can mound these up a little bit, okay? And I'm going to put some feta cheese on them, which I had forgotten about and I hadn't put in the recipe. Let me taste this first. There's all sorts of things you can throw in here, so, you know, any kind of vegetable. Oh, oh, yum. Oh, that's absolutely delicious with the chili. So just fill up your shells as so. Very simple. You're going to be like a five star chef serving these things up to your family. They're going to love these. It doesn't matter if some of the rice pops out and goes on to the, into the bowl. I'm sorry, I came on an hour later today. I was talking to some friends, so um, I got a little bit tied up and I thought it would be better to come on a little bit later. Sometimes I think some of you girls, like uh, Deborah and, and Emma, made sure uh, 3 o'clock maybe a little too early for you. And Deborah being in Las Vegas, so I think you're probably 8 hours. There, just top them up. Wow, these are going to taste great. Can't wait. Just moving that over a little bit and bring the board in so you can see. I've got a block of Greek feta cheese here. You can use goat's cheese if you want it. I, I just added this in just now in the last three seconds in my head. I thought, oh, I've got a block of feta cheese there. So why don't I put some of that on me? Hang on. I can get it open. There we go. Right. There. So I'm going to put, cut four pieces of feta. There we go. Seal that up. And just break that on top. You could lay the piece on top, but uh, it's probably better just to break it up a little bit. It'll help it sort of melt down a little bit into the... There we go. Wow. I'm excited about these. <laughs> um, something I'm going to make this week. Uh, probably not live because a lot of you won't even know what it is. But Nandini, you'll know what it is. Lime pickle. Fantastically served with Indian food. And I'm so into making my own. Um, I've never made it before, and this is going to be the first time, so I'm going to make that this week, and if it turns out, and I think it's great, and you might like to learn how to make it, um, it's, it's, a li it's made with limes and mustard seeds and vinegars and things, and um, then... Uh, obviously left in the bottle to preserve for a little while. Hey Robin, hi Tina, Antari, Lisa, yes, you can watch the video later, don't worry, It'll, it's not going to disappear. So there you go, that's Mary's Kitchen Stuffed Peppers. I'm going to put them in the oven for probably another 15 to 20 minutes. Put them on a heat about 375 uh, gas mark six-ish uh, centigrades, just under 200, say 180 centigrade, that'd probably be the best. So that's really basically it. Stuffed peppers, so simple. Uh, I just love these sort of like, you know, heat them up rice and uh, they're super for getting a dish done quick. I use them quite a lot actually, especially now. 
but if you want to make your own basmati rice, you can make that up first, or long grain rice, whichever you prefer. Oh, Ellen, you could just make a nice salad with this. Uh, this is, uh, in Scotland here, well, in the UK here, it's no meat made, and a lot of dishes we're making just at the moment, mind you, I am still eating chicken and things, but uh, I would just serve a really, really nice little mixed salad with this. And that's it, basically. To be honest with you, I would just probably eat the two peppers, and <laughs> that would be it. I'd be happy with that. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, you're asking too, what am I serving with these? Well, say this is your main course, okay? So say you were making a steak or a pork chops or chicken breast or whatever. Uh, you could serve one of these along as your vegetable side dish. Or for me, this evening, I'm having this as a main course. So I'll have one red, one half a red, one half a green pepper, um, and just maybe make a little mixed salad with it beside it and serve it with that, or you could just serve it as a side dish. Um, perfect, something different to have with uh, any meat that you're making, any, you know, chickens, uh, steak, whatever. Um, you could serve these along as a side dish. Karen, hi. Thank you. Yum, yum. Uh, Darlene, you could uh, actually, if you wanted to add a little bit of uh, ground beef to this, you could do that also. Mm, I'll tell you what would go fantastic with this kind of Mediterranean flavor I'm going with here is chorizo. It would be absolutely amazing to cut up a little bit of chorizo with your onion when you're cooking your onion off and all the flavors of the chorizo would come out and that would just uh, get into the rice and everything. It would be really, really beautiful taste. Um, yeah, so if you wanted to do that, but on this occasion I'm not adding any meat into mine, Lorna. Oh yes, you could put some leftover bolognese sauce on, Lorna. That's absolutely right. You could put a sprinkle a bolognese on there, it would be very tasty. Yeah, why not? Hey, Patty. Oh, Patty, I try to make cooking look easy because I want you girls to cook. <laughs> hey, Pam, how are you? So I'm going to put these in the oven, not just at the moment because I'm not just ready to eat them just yet. I'm probably going to eat them around 5 or 6 o'clock and make a little mixed salad. I've got a couple of avocados here that need eaten up. They're getting a bit soft, so I'm gonna make, uh, do them. I'm just trying to use all the ingredients that I have and show you what to do and hopefully use your imagination when you're doing dishes like this. Don't You don't have to totally concentrate on everything, absolute item that I'm doing. If you have a little cheddar cheese you wanna throw on there, you have a little goat's cheese, you have a little mozzarella cheese, that's fine. It's all good. Um, and as I say, you can change the flavor by changing the spices you use. If you want to make it more Indian style, you can do that with your rice by adding the proper Indian spices, the coriander, the cumin, uh, turmeric, uh, uh, cilantro, coriander. And this one, though, is a Mediterranean, Mediterranean stuffed peppers topped with feta cheese. So I hope you've enjoyed that, girls. I look forward to seeing you in the next few days. Love you. Uh, stay safe. Stay home. Stay safe. Hi, Cindy Delude. How are you? And Nancy, morning. I know it's Mother's Day over there in America. Happy Mother's Day, all you lovely, beautiful mothers. Uh, I have chorizo on my brain. I know. I, You know, Karen, I love cooking with chorizo. Uh, Chorizo and cabbage is like a marriage made in heaven. Uh, chorizo flavor coming through with goat's cheese and tomato is just just beautiful. I do love a really, really good chorizo. Uh, hi, Natalie and Cheryl. Oh, I'm so happy to see you too, Victoria. Great. Well, listen, girls, I'm going to go off now. Lovely to see you. Love you. Stay safe, stay home, and uh, we're here for another three weeks, so you'll be seeing a lot of me, and uh, don't forget, if you do see somebody without a smile, give them yours. Love you. Bye.